Hi, I'm John Gatt. I'm here for Hard OCP TV. I'm here to interview Euclidean, a small company made up of just nine people in sunny Brisbane, Australia. They recently released a demo video to give their fans a one-year update. They're a very secretive bunch that normally decline interviews, but the public outcry for them to respond to their critics has been so great that today they've cracked, and they've allowed the media into their world for just one day. Soon after this, they're going to disappear again so they can get back to work and won't release anything else until after they're finished. Let's go up and have a chat to the CEO of Lucidian, Bruce Dell, a vegetarian who sponsors a whole orphanage in India. Hi Bruce, how are you? Thanks for seeing us. I'm well and you're very welcome. So can you give us some background relating to the video? Well, a little while ago we suddenly realised that Gamescom was about to happen over in Germany and I decided that I should go over and visit. And beforehand, we thought, let's make a little video for our fans and supporters, because mm -hmm. some of them were starting to think that we had disappeared, a bunch of ninjas had got us or something. And um, we also thought, rather than tell the companies that we're seeing to download something, right. why not just put it on YouTube to make it easier for them to get a hold of? And um, by the next morning, we'd wondered if was YouTube broken or something. <laughs> it, was, it was very much going out of control. Basically, the video, for those who haven't seen it, is where we're talking about a new technology we have mm -hmm. that gives computers unlimited geometric power and makes all sorts of other wild claims, which has made many people delighted and other people angry saying, <laughs> you have no right to say such things. I'm hoping that today we'll be able to clear our name. But come on, you say technology has unlimited power? Um, yes, yes we do. And I know that's a very strange claim, so please give us a chance okay. to explain. Uh, at present, the graphics cards companies and the console companies all try to build bigger graphics cards or bigger consoles so you'll have more power. Because everybody knows uh, if you give a computer something to do, like put a polygon on the screen or a little atom on the screen, it's going to take a bit of maths and a bit of processor time mm -hmm. to do it. So if you want to have a lot of stuff or unlimited stuff, then that's just not possible. Okay, in our particular case, we don't go about solving that problem in the same way as everybody else. Let's say your screen is 1280 by 7, 720 or 768. Then what we do is we have a search algorithm and it goes out and it grabs exactly one atom for every pixel on the screen. Right. So if you do it that way, you end up um, being able to have unlimited geometry as we show, but we're not being wasteful in how right. we present it on the screen. Okay. But the demo you published last week has no animation in it. How do you explain that? Can you do animation? Um, yes. Yes, we can do animation. Animation has been a part of the system from the very beginning. I think a lot of people are saying, we know what this is mm -hmm. and we know it can't do animation, but those people have no idea what we're doing and they have no authority to say anything even like that. Animation to us originally was skeletal animation. If we have a look at this here, I'm sure our critics will rejoice. That looks awful. Yes, but that's seven years old and we've had time to evolve since then. That's skeletal animation. That's where you've got the different pieces and they all move independently right. from each other. So the idea of no animation is completely incorrect. We've moved on a lot since then. And regarding our, our end product, our outcome, that's not finished yet. And in all things, I think since the demonstration I, I mentioned on another interview, we feel like a mother who put cookies in the oven. Right. And um, the children keep coming along, taking the cookies out of the oven and going, they don't taste right. If you give us a bit of time, they will taste okay. just fine. So right now, the put your animation on the screen so we can find fault with it and criticize it. No, you're not getting any cookies from the oven until they're finished baking. Fair enough. Animation will be in the final real-time demonstrations. Okay. Do you have memory problems? People are claiming that you must have some sort of memory limitations. Um, no. The simple answer is no. Our, our memory compaction is going remarkably well. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've used up our quota of unbelievable claims this month, so right. I'm not going to talk about memory compaction. We're not finished on that as well, so just like the animation, that will be something that we will be showing our findings in the final demonstration when we eventually complete it. I'd like to make clear that what we produced was not a, a finished product or a finished demonstration. It was a one-year report for our right. fans and supporters and the developers who follow us. 
Now, some people have said this technology is voxels. Is it voxels? Um, a voxel seems to mean different things to so many people. Um, to some people you say a voxel and they'll show you really old games like Comanche and say they're voxels. Mm -hmm. And um, to other people a voxel is a little box. Mm -hmm. And to other people a voxel is a little floating atom. If we're referring to it as a, a voxel being a little floating atom, like, mm -hmm. a, like a pixel, then yes, yes it is voxels, but it's voxels in unlimited quantities. Right. So if we have a look like, I mean, this guy's come up here already, but if we have a look at him again, he's made of voxels, if you think of them in terms of little floating atoms, the more of him we put on the screen, the slower it's going to go. Yeah, Whereas right. in our system, we have unlimited voxels. Because of your search algorithm. Yeah, or little, little floating atoms. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Notch is basically saying that what we have is unimpressive. It's been done many times before. And I'm saying, nope, we're not any of those things or anything mm -hmm. like any of those things. Rather than a my word versus his, what would you think if somebody in the graphics industry who was well respected, if not the most respected, were to suddenly come forth and say, what they're doing is impossible. You cannot do anything like this on the current computer hardware. That's, who am I paraphrasing? That's what John, John Carmack said. That's what, that's what John Carmack yeah. said. We're running it on software. We're not using the, the graphics card. We will be using the graphic card in the yeah. future. We're greedy. There's plenty of power on the mm -hmm. graphics card. Uh, we certainly will take advantage of it. But at this particular point in time, a search algorithm grabbing only one atom for every pixel on the screen mm -hmm. does not take up very much CPU power. Mm -hmm. Now, the best way to answer John Carmack's queries or, or statement would be to show us real-time demos. You haven't done that as yet, and you did say that we'd have a chance to look at real-time demos. Um, do you still want to do that, or is it something you want to back away from? No, no, you'll find out all our secrets. Yes, yes. Um, of course, of course you can see real-time demonstrations. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here we have an, a gaming laptop. It's an Intel Core i7, 2 gig. Okay. And um, here we have a nice green cable that goes to our render farm in China of 6,000 computers that send them down this little wire as JPEG images. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> that's just the internet. We'll, we'll unplug that and throw that aside. Okay, so what you're seeing here is a real-time example. I am pressing the key, and um, there we go. We're running at 15 to 25 frames a second. Mm -hmm. This is in That's pretty smooth. This is this is in real time, and considering the fact that we're running millions, trillions, trillions, 21 trillion and big number polygons. Yeah, but running um, a, is this a pre-recorded demo though, or is it? No, you're you're actually seeing real time. No, I'm having fun with you. Um, yeah, of course. Okay. You can take the controller and um, just okay. press. When we're in a place, you want to stop. Where's a nice place? Do you want to stop here? Okay. Okay, so, uh, uh, so do you have to drive? Yeah, I do. Don't so crash into standing. the elephants. Oh, so you don't drive like that. Hold down. Okay, twirl, twirl around. Come back. Turn to the side. Okay, so. Fly around. Wait a second, let's go up to the tree. Do you want me to drive? Am I allowed to drive? I, I, I want to have a look. Wait, wait, you're not getting to drive. Um, so when you zoom out using the key, I you can actually even see. Even though we had keys, um, you can see. Well, I'm a natural keyboard gamer, so you can see how big this place is. So I just wanted to get an idea of how big the area was that I was looking at here before I started exploring. Um, so then I can just get the controller here and zoom around. Now I'm going really slow here for some reason. Um, can I? Can I drive? Yeah, you drive. Show I, us around. I made it. I get to okay, drive. You get to drive. Yeah, we we made it here. Okay, so. Over here, we this have... This is running really fast. It's a massive area to be running so fast. <laughs> I mean, if this was Sim City, I mean, even on the most powerful... Don't well, know. a lot of people keep saying um, the Sims. The Sims needs unlimited detail. Yeah. Not that Sims has got anything to do with Sim City. I'm showing my ignorance. Sorry, girls. I like your games too. <gasps> so bad. My sister plays the Sims. I tell her to leave her life of Sim, to go now and Sim no more. Okay, so here's our tree. We know the tree. And... Um, um, who else have we got? The cactus. Mm -hmm. You all know the cactus. You've seen the cactus. He was the hybrid of stuff that was twirling around. And um, over here, I like the palm trees. What am I doing? I'm going to get the demo. camera in really close and get a good look at this screen because in all honesty, maybe the demo didn't show us enough of this. I'm, I'm blown away by what you're showing us here. Okay, so here's 
here's the palm tree. It's all nice. <laughs> and um, it's made of lots and lots and lots of polygons. Okay, so um, I suppose some statistics. Um, this one's only on a laptop, so we're doing 1024 by 768, but please don't judge us too harshly. Mm -hmm. We are running like 21 trillion polygons, and we haven't touched the graphics card. That's a lie, actually. We, we need to use the graphics card for the final bitmap, like the final picture being put on the screen, mm -hmm. but um, that could have been any graphics card from um, 1994 or earlier. Right. It doesn't take much to stick something on a screen. To be honest, the video doesn't do this, this justice. What I'm seeing here on the screen being rendered live, um, the video isn't giving us... Well, the, the video JPEG'd or, or whatever you call video mm -hmm. compression to the poor thing. And so, um, so have a little bit of a fly around. So this is the unoptimized version. Um, I suppose to a lot of you, it's, it's, I hope someone out there is saying, wow, someone say, wow, please, just someone. And so... Um, Oh, but where how, are we? How long? I mean, this is a massive area. I mean, yes, you, you've repeated a lot of stuff, you know, well, through there, obviously, rocks and all that, because you, you need a, a, a team of 500 people, you know, working around the clock for six years to produce enough content. No, I mean, that wouldn't be good advertising. They don't work for six <laughs> years. Um, because we use laser scan stuff, you can make a lot of content very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so, what else do I say? How, um, well, how long did this demo take to make? How long did it take to put all this stuff together? Well, it's a little bit hard. I mean, we decided we needed a demo after, in like three weeks, and we just quickly whipped it all together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I suppose the major points uh, to get across to answer some more of the questions is, um, if we know what lotting is, level of distance, that's, mm -hmm. um, um, we're going to have a look at a quick video here. Okay, so this is levels of distance. Do you see how in games they build things at different sizes from mm -hmm. different levels? If you don't have unlimited polygons, then the next best thing to do is just rebuild the things at different sizes. So one far away will only use up 10 polygons, one up close will use up hundreds of polygons. Mm -hmm. Okay, so moving back to the demonstration. Okay, this is a test that some people have asked to be done. As we slowly move away from the elephant, does the elephant like that tree we just saw? suddenly jump? Does he suddenly no. level of distance? Does he suddenly change? No. It's exactly the same. No, he doesn't. He's getting pretty small now. I think he's pretty much gone. You can't see him because yep. it's too far away. So it's not a, a, a trick like building the objects numerous times. It really does just keep track of sorting the points and grabbing only the ones we need. And that system of doing things is fast. Very, mm. very fast because you only have to grab one little I item mean, for in, every pixel. In all honesty, I was expecting you to have a much more powerful system to be able to run this. I mean, the detail I'm seeing here is far, far beyond anything I've seen in any MMO or open well, world type environment. There are questions what are we going to do with all the extra speed if we or when we start using the graphics card and the fact that this isn't optimized. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, we would be conservative to say we can squeeze three times more speed out of this. And the simple answer is resolution. We're, we're going to just go up to much higher resolutions than we're used to seeing at the moment. Now, I must admit, the video just does not do this demonstration justice. The level of detail far exceeds not only what I've seen in the video, but anything I've ever seen in any game before. Well, please remember that we're not finished yet, so, you know, there's still a lot more to come. Wow. <laughs> she is just amazing. I'm sorry, the depth and the, the beauty of, of that, you know, it's just amazing. We are mesmerized by her beauty. And we have, we have moldy water. Okay. I could, I could literally spend hours exploring this place. I mean, it, you don't get, you don't even understand the, the amount of detail that's in here, the amount of different objects that we've found so far. Well, <laughs> the, the other day I found a piece of bark, a really, really nice piece of bark, and... I, I wish I could show him to you. <gasps> there we go. There we go. Oh, he, obviously, he obviously wasn't that uncommon. Assuming that's the same piece of bark. Okay, so this is like ripped straight off a gum tree and, you know, you've scanned it in. Uh, and We just stole it from the forest. Oh. Wait, wait. Sorry, you didn't rip it off the gum tree, did you? We <laughs> it fell on the ground rip first. it off a gum tree. <laughs> we let it let the gum tree give it but, I mean, to us. In, in, in that shot there, did what? This 
15, 20 different items that I can see. I mean, yes, there's, there is things that's repeated, but I mean, there's one, two, well, three, four different leaves I can see in that little section there. Well, it doesn't take long to, to grab this stuff and, and import it in. Mm -hmm. So in the future, you're going to see a lot more stuff imported. And you're not only scanning the actual shape of the item, you're scanning its textures, its everything. look, everything. I mean, everything. those statu statues are just amazing, the I'm, leaves that we've looked at. Is I'm, I'm going into forbidden places, so... Um, <laughs> Your first demo needs to be this particular world, you know, you as a little character walking around exploring this place. It's this, just is, this, is, this is in between... It is amazing. ...the, the bricks. Hello, ladies. And some, yeah, lots of All stuff. The rocks, and I think I've seen some of those rocks in real life. <laughs> I suppose as the final word, uh, we're we're about to disappear again. That's what we do. That is our way. We have a lot of hard work to do, and we're a little company, and we don't like to show things until they're finished. Because you know, there's a lot of people out there who don't like us. I don't know why. <laughs> we're just trying to make graphics. It. Yeah, no, we're just trying to make good graphics be nice to us, but there's a lot of people who don't like us, and um, it it suits our purposes to disappear again, okay. like we disappeared for the last year. Head down, bum up, work, and and get this finished because, in all honesty, I want to play my next MMOs or or open world environment games based on this engine. <laughs> um, it's just uh, it's yes. so immersive, it's unbelievable. Yes. And um, I know that, that when we disappear, we'll get fan mail. They're criticizing you. They're, they're throwing stones at you. Rush to your defense. But um, I think that's the way we work. Uh, we'll disappear now. People can criticize. Um, they can enjoy their feeling of power while it lasts. And um, we'll come out with real-time demos when we're ready. When we're ready. When it won't be ready. too long. It won't be too long. <laughs> we're well ready. aware the clock is ticking no, it's a, now. That's a, it's a good motto. When it's ready, you'll get, get to play with it. Awesome.